Okay, everybody, thanks for stopping by. Look, today's video is going to be a slightly different format, and that's because I'm in the car and I'm using my phone to film this. Whilst I've got the opportunity, what I wanted to show you was how to clear a code on your Pajero using the Talk app on your Android uh, or your iPhone device. OBD2 reader plugged in, it's doing its thing, and I've got the uh, Talk app running on the Android tablet on the dash. What happened, I was coming home, I was just out, and I was heading home, and I went to put the foot down to overtake a car, um, and I lost all power, basically. And it went back almost into, I wouldn't say limp mode, but that's exactly what it felt like. It was underpowered, it was running rough as guts, it sounded terrible, and I just couldn't get any speed. Luckily, I was only a couple of blocks from home, uh, so I limped the home, and um, whilst I was driving home, I flicked on the OBD reader, fired up the Talk app and just done a quick scan, uh, just to give me an idea of what I was looking at so when I got home. Uh, so when I've pulled up, I've had a quick look at the code that it's thrown up, and this is what I've got. So it's basically saying manifold absolute pressure, barometric pressure circuit, uh, performance problem. So no shit, Sherlock. Um, on the dash, all of these top lights lit up these lights went out and i had the center diff lock light activated and i got the check engine light over here so basically i had a christmas tree uh on the dash interestingly enough and i wasn't really paying that much attention but i don't know whether the neutral light come on normally when you get a code normally when you get a code on um normally when the car throws a code the neutral light will come on and it will flash to let you know that you've got a code there to be read um and the uh, and often you'll find that the taco uh, dial will do weird stuff as well. So if that happens, you know you've got a code there. Um, anyway, so what I've done, I've started up the, the Talk app, and I'll just show you, I'm just going to run you through how to read a code on the Talk app, um, and then how to clear a code, because we've fixed it. It turns out, I knew it was something to do with boost pressure or something to do with uh, vacuum pressure, because it basically felt like somebody was blowing on something, and then it let go. That's exactly what it felt like, the car lurched forward. So I was pretty sure it was something to do with boost pressure. Um, and then when I scanned the code, that pretty much confirmed that. When I jumped under the bonnet to have a look, it was basically the intercooler hose had come off the intake manifold. Uh, the screw had backed off the hose clamp and the, the hose had just popped off. So put that back on, tightened up the clamp. It's actually running better than it was. So I might have had a slight leak there before. I think that screw might've been backing out for a little while. We'll put some Loctite on it when we've got more time and it's running like a dream. So I just want to show you how to scan for a code and how to clear a code on the Talk app. Keep in mind guys that I'm, I'm just on the phone. I just wanted to show you this before I cleared it. So if you're in your Talk app, you've got your real-time info here, which is all the stuff that's going to show you the revs and your, anything, any of your dials and stuff that you've set up. That's the screen everybody's going to be used to. Uh, but if you go down here to fault codes, now I've already read this one, so this one's already showing up. But normally you'd have a big scan button right here in the middle and you just tap it. And it's going to look similar to that. It's going to say that it's scanning up in the corner here. It can take a few minutes if you've got a few codes there. It can take a few minutes, but usually about a minute or so is what it's going to take. Um, sometimes, uh, sometimes it can be as quick as like, you know, about 20 seconds or something like that. So just sit there let it still thing if if you've got the opportunity it's always handy to have the car running so it's actually throwing the codes up and it can read them you'll see here it's showing us the powertrain manifold pressure if you click on the error it gives you the option of a web lookup it's going to repeat the information up the top here which is what you've already seen in the error code and then it's going to give you car specific ones now unfortunately we don't have a mitsubishi pajero on here uh, but if you just have a quick read of them, it's basically saying uh, powertrain fuel and air metering, um, barometric pressure sensor, um, map sensor input. Um, so we know it's got something to do with our pressure, um, something to do with our air fuel mixture. Um, and, and so that just gives you an idea of what you're looking at. So if you need to take this to your mechanic or something, or if you need to give your mechanic a call, you can tell them what code it's throwing up and what they're looking at and they might have some idea. Like I said, it just ended up in an intercooler hose, so I just literally went and connected, popped it back on, tightened up that hose, and jobs are good. So, we'll just show you how to clear that. So just go back to your app, 
go up to the right here, you know, you've got your two little, or your little buttons up here, and clear faults on ECU. So we're just gonna touch that. Now, it's gonna give you a warning here basically saying that you're gonna clear the fault, but you're not gonna fix the issue. So you'll see here, you should only perform this action after the fault has been fixed and when the vehicle is stationary, we are. In the course of the fault has not been fixed and the fault code will reappear at a later time. So it's gonna just keep coming up. Uh, some vehicles require that the engine not to be running when fault codes have been reset. Now, I th I'm pretty sure I've reset fault codes before when it's been running, so we're gonna try that. We're just gonna say, okay. It's sending a clearance. And we've already seen the engine light go off. Doesn't take very long to clear the codes. Again, can be about a minute, but it's usually pretty quick. All right, so that code has gone. Again, just confirm your dash has all gone back to normal. You don't have any funny lights showing up here. You can see our check engine light has gone off. We don't have a flashing neutral uh, on the dash. Our taco is doing its thing. We go back here, we go fault codes again, and this is what you would normally see once you if you're scanning for a code for the first time just hit the button you'll see it doing its progressing up in the corner and then literally just just let it do its thing and in theory because we have fixed our issue we should be seeing we shouldn't be seeing any more codes so fingers crossed that was all it was um, and I'm pretty confident that it, that's what it was but obviously sometimes a, a problem can cause another problem uh, but the way it's running again, I don't think we've got any issues. It's just doing a scan now. Um, and, th and that's pretty much it. So literally go into your talk app, go into fault codes, do a scan, have a read. Not all the codes are going to give you the web lookup. Um, but if they do, have a look at that. If the description isn't giving you enough of an idea what it is. Okay, and our scan has finished and we are done. Scan your codes, see what it comes up with, have a read of your codes, and that's going to give you a bit of an understanding or an idea uh, of what it is you're looking for. And again, then you can give your mechanic a call or you can jump under the bonnet and you've got at least an idea what you're looking at or where you need to go. Uh, in this case, it was nice and simple and it didn't have to go to the mechanic, so I'm real happy with that. And that, uh, and then you can go and clear the code, but again, as per the warning, this is not fixing whatever the problem is, it's just clearing the error. Uh, so if you haven't fixed it, chances are it's going to come back. It's going to keep running like a dog doing whatever it is. This is only something that you want to use once you've fixed the issue. But anyway, that's it, guys. That's how to clear a code uh, using your torque gap on your Pajero or your four-wheel drive. Thanks very much for stopping by. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.